I wanted to share with you something. I had this great epiphany um, yesterday when I was talking to my mom on Mother's Day because like today is like May 11, 2020. <laughs> Every once in a while, you know, I could feel this thing inside, like this, this obstacle, and I just can't quite reach it and grab it and pull it out, but I could feel it, and I know it's there, and I'm like, and I pray about it, I'm like, God, help me put up. A, a lot of what really messes with people is, is the concept of money, and I understand that money is a tool. Money is energy. Money feels good in your hands. Money feels good to have, but a lot of people have used that tool for harmful reasons. And so I started going around saying, you know, it's it's like having a business. You need the money to make the business flow. And I kept thinking, you know, I wanted a lot of a lot of money, but you know, for certain freedoms. But I don't want to hurt anybody to get the money. But I have something to offer of value and all this and that. And I'm like, you know, it's it's the purpose of the business, not the money. And so I'm talking to my mom yesterday. I'm telling her, I says, you know, I just have these dreams that I. I always wanted to go after, and some of them are simple, like, you know, getting a van and making it into a little RV and just traveling, not really owning a home, because when you own things, it kind of owns you, but traveling and having my living room be, what a park I just happen to be at today, you know, the epiphany came in when I was saying, I goes, I want to be a millionaire. I looked at my mom and I says, yeah, I, I just want my family to just envy me, you know, and of course I was just joking. And then I says, but really, this is this bigger dream that I have, you know, of buying acres and acres and acres of property and going on to how I would turn part of it into a holistic flea market and part of it would have offices that were for holistic services and, you know, like massage therapists and chiropractors and holistic doctors and everything, you know, would rent those offices that would be all holistic and then having these restaurants that you know health food and yes it would have you know some that would serve meat but it would be like the uh, free-range chickens and and the grass-fed beef and they would be happy that's i don't want you know suicidal cow meat on there i want you know that's a miserable life i want i want them to have a happy life and so you know they had a fulfilling life so when it's time it's like hey i had a great life you know you know, none of that, you know, GMO or stuff like that, and then have a, have, um, you know, the, my, uh, my own uh, farm that it, where I have a chance to get homeless people that really want to get off the street, can work on the farms. And then the huge part of it would be, would have some yurts and cabins and outside, um, you know, like the, the, the bathrooms, you know, like, like the toilets and the showers and stuff like that. Uh, for for camping, but it would be used for like seminars and you know just events, you know. And I says, this is my dream. And I says, but I would need millions of dollars to accomplish this dream. And I says, then part of it like it would be like a house where you do the registration, and part of that would be my private room and my ham shack and Bill's ham shack and stuff. So that when we come back from our mini trips, we have a place. To lay our head. I'm not really a house house that's this is mine, blah, 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 but there'd just be a part that's, you know, off over here. And in that area would be my own little garden, meditation garden and that. But it would take millions of dollars to do this. You know? And I and, and when I'm traveling, I want the freedom to either sleep in the, the, the little RV I make, or if I feel like it, you know, go to a hotel. I want that kind of freedom. You know, but this would take millions of dollars. I says it was never really about the money. It was about the dream. It was about the dream. And that's when my eyes opened up. It was like when I think of it as about the dream, it feels good. But when I think of it as about I need the money, I need the money. I, I get this knot in my stomach. And, it, and it's like money is not evil. You know, I know money is not evil. It's 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 when people make things up about the money and money becomes before people and they're willing to allow people to die or, or get sick or harm people or rip people off, steal from people, you know, that's, you know, that's when it becomes more or less evil, you know. I never wanted to be about the money. I wanted to be about the people, about the dream, about the 
purpose. And that was an eye opening. It was like, oh, that just felt so good. And I'm driving home, I'm like, yes, finally I found out, you know, when I'm like, go talking about money. It's not about the money, but I need the money to create the dream. And I'm like, that just feels good. I could open up to the universe freely without, without that tightness, you know, that was just such an obstacle because it's about the dream. It's about the purpose, not about the money. I need the money to create it. And it's just, then that's when money is a lovely tool that just feels wonderful because you're creating this wonderful dream. Hi, I'm Penny. And I'm not here to tell you what to do or tell you what to think or tell you how to live, but I'd like to introduce you to that inner muse that just tells you who you are. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye.